Hello friends, welcome to a new series of mathematics program for grade 8. Our first chapter is number sequences. In our grade 7 program, we learned about patterns and sequences, namely the types of number patterns, number patterns from patterns in figures, as well as the types of sequences. In today's lesson, we will learn about the Fibonacci sequence and the sequence of ordered pairs. Let us look at some real-life examples of number sequences. If you look at the first picture, you can see that there is a pattern 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. This is found in buildings. You also have sequences in leaves. Or, if you look at this shell, you can see that there is a pattern. And this is what we are going to learn about today. So, some examples of the Fibonacci sequence in real life. We look at this flower, we can see that there are 55 spirals spiraling outwards and 34 spirals going inwards. Similarly, for the pineapple, you have a Fibonacci sequence with spirals in sets of 8, 13, 21. Even this flower will follow the Fibonacci sequence. And this is what we are going to see. So let us consider the following sequence. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, and so on. So what can you observe? If we look at 1 and 1, and I add these two numbers, I'm going to obtain 2. Similarly, if I add 1 and 2, I'll be getting 3. If I add 2 and 3, I'll obtain 5. So what have you observed is each number is being obtained by adding the two numbers which immediately precede it. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21 and so on is called the Fibonacci sequence. So what we have observed is that we need to add the two previous terms to get the next one. Just look at this diagram. So I'm going to add 0 plus 1 to get 1. 1 plus 1 to get the next term, which is 2. 1 plus 2 to obtain 3 and so on. So that's why I was talking about the spiral earlier. So you have a spiral. So 3, 5, 8, 13 and so on. This can be seen, for example, in cyclones or in shells. Now we consider one example. Copy and complete the following Fibonacci sequences. So we have five parts. The first one, two, four, six, ten. So we need to be careful. This is not the set of even numbers or the set of multiples of two because we don't have eight. So it's going to be the Fibonacci sequence. So I need to add the two previous terms to get the next one. So here it's going to be 6 plus 10, 16. Next one, 10 plus 16, 26. And the third one, 16 plus 26 to give me 42. Part B, 1, 3, 4, 7. So here again, I need to add the two previous terms, that is 4 plus 7, 11. Next one, 7 plus 11, 18. And then 11 plus 18, which is 29. Part C, 0, 5, 5, 10. So again, I add the two previous terms, that is 5 plus 10, 15, 10 plus 15, 25, and 15 plus 25, 
40. Body, one decimal two, two decimal zero, three decimal two. So to find the next step, I add two plus 3.2, which is 5.2. Next one, 3.2 plus 5.2, which gives me 8.4. And the last term, 5.2 plus 8.4, which gives me 13.6. Last part, three, three and a half, six and a half. So here we have fractions. So I need to add the two previous terms to get the fourth term. So three and a half plus six and a half, which gives me 10. Next, six and a half plus 10, which gives me 16 and a half. And the last one, 10 plus 16 and a half, which gives me 26 and a half. We move on to the next example. Find the next three terms in the given Fibonacci sequence if the first two terms are 12 and 5. So we have been given the first two terms and we need to find the next three terms. So to find the third term, I need to add the first and second term. 12 plus 5, 17. Now to get the next term, 5 plus 17, which is 22. And the last term, 17 plus 22, which gives me 39. A third example, now this one is slightly different. The third and fifth terms of a Fibonacci sequence are 25 and 35, respectively. Find the first six terms. So here we have been given the third and the fifth terms. And I need to find the first six terms. So I need to find the fourth term first. So 25 plus which number? is going to give me 35. I have been given the third and fifth term, so I need to find the fourth term. 25 plus which number equal to 35? 10. So now I'm going to move backwards. Which number plus 25 is equal to 10? So the answer is minus 15. Minus 15 plus 25 will give me the 10. For the first term now, which number added to minus 15 will give me 25? So it's going to be 40. 40 plus minus 15 is 25. And now we are left with the last term. So the last term is just 10 plus 35, which is 45. So here are some exercises for you to practice Find the next two terms in each of the Fibonacci sequences. So you've got some different types of Fibonacci sequences to fill in. Second question. If the second and third terms of a Fibonacci sequence are 6 and 10 respectively, find the first five terms of the sequence. The third question. If the third and fifth terms of a Fibonacci sequence or 7 and 13 respectively, find the first seven terms of the sequence. The last question, if the second and fourth terms of a Fibonacci sequence are 5 and 2 respectively, find the first six terms of the sequence. We now move on to sequences of ordered pairs. So what is an ordered pair? If you recall, in grade 7, you learn about coordinates, and coordinates is always written in the form x, y. So this is an ordered pair. An ordered pair should always be written between brackets x, y. So let us consider the following sequence. 1, 4, 4, 6, 9, 8, 16, 10. What can you observe? If we consider the first term in each ordered pair, we have the first term in each ordered pair will be 1, 
four, nine, sixteen. So what type of sequence is this? One, four, nine, sixteen, and so on. Yes? These form the set of square numbers. So the next two terms will be 25 and 36. We now consider the second term in each ordered pair. We have 4, 6, 8, 10 and so on. So what do you notice here? These numbers are from the set of even numbers. So the next two terms will be 12 and 14. So the next two terms in the ordered sequence will be 25, 12 and 36, 14. Let us consider the example B. Find the next two terms in the following sequences of ordered pairs. So here we have four parts. So let us have a look at the solution. Part A, 0, 3, 1, 6, 2, 9, and we need to find the next two terms. So the first term in each ordered pair will be 0, 1, 2, and so on. So what will be the next two terms for this sequence? 3 and 4. So we can already start filling the next two terms. Now consider the second term of the sequence of ordered pairs. The second term in each ordered pair. 3, 6, 9. So what will be the next two terms? I'm adding 3 to get the next term or it's just the multiples of 3. So the next two terms will be 12 and 15. Hence, the answer for the next two terms will be 3, 12 and 4, 15. Part B. Minus 1, 5. Minus 2, 10. Minus 3, 15. So the first term in each pair will be minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. The next Two terms of this sequence will be minus 4 and minus 5. Now we consider the second term of the sequence of ordered pairs. 5, 10, 15 and so on. So this is the sequence of multiples of 5 or we add 5 to get the next term. So the next two terms will be 20 and 25. So the sequence of ordered pairs will be minus 1, 5, minus 2, 10, minus 3, 15, and we have minus 4, 20, minus 5, 25. Solution for part C, 2, 1.0, 5, 1.5, 8, 2. So the first term in each pair will be 2, 5, 8, and so on. So we can see that we need to add 3 to get the next term. So the next two terms will be 11 and 14. I add 3. 8 plus 3, 11. 11 plus 3, 14. Now we consider the second term of the sequence of ordered pairs. 1.0, 1.5, 2. So here we need to add 0.5, to get the next term. So the next two terms will be 2 plus 0 0.5, 2.5, and 2.5 plus 0 0.5, which is 3 or 3.0. So here is the solution. Part D, 1 over 10, 3, 1 fifth, 7, 3 over 10, 11. And we need to find the next two terms. So the first term in each pair is 1 over 10, 1 over 5, and 3 over 10. We can see that we need to add 1 over 10 to get the next term. So the next two terms will be 3 over 10 plus 1 over 10, which is 4 over 10. Reduced to lowest term, it will give me 2 over 5. 
And the next one will be 2 over 5 plus 1 over 10, which is 5 over 10, which is equal to half. Now we consider the second term of the sequence of ordered pairs, 3, 7, 11. So we can see that we need to add 4 to get the next term. So the next two terms will be 11 plus 4, 15, 15 plus 4, 19. So here is the solution. You now have some exercises to practice. So first question, find the next three terms in each of the following sequences. So you have five parts. Second question as well, find the next three terms in each of the following sequences. So here you have some questions dealing with fractions. Next one, find the missing terms in each of the following sequences. So here the missing terms are anywhere in the sequence. You need to be careful. Sometimes the X is unknown or sometimes the Y is unknown. You also have some interesting links which you can have a look at for additional practice on sequences. So let us see what we have learned in today's lesson. The first thing that we have learned is the Fibonacci sequence. We have learned that we need to add the two preceding terms to get the next term. For example here, 1 plus 3 will give me the third term which is 4, 3 plus 4 will give me 7 and so on. The second thing that we have learned today is the sequence of ordered pair. So an ordered pair, if you remember, consists of X and Y. Usually, we need to look at the X part first, all the X terms first, we find a sequence, and then we look at the Y terms. So here the X terms will be 1, 3, 5, 7, and so on. We can see that we need to add 2 to get the next term. For the second terms of the sequence, we have 2, 6, 10, 14, and so on. So here we need to add 4 to get the next term. So friends, we have reached the end of today's lesson on sequences. I hope you're going to take some time to practice these questions. So until next time, goodbye.